So right now there are two vaccines available. They're both messenger RNA vaccines. So the side effects from the two of them, because they're so similar, have similar side effects. Primarily what people are experiencing are fevers and chills and body aches. There's also a good bit of fatigue involved afterwards. Usually these side effects develop uh, probably six to eight hours after getting the vaccine, and they last no more than um, two or three days. So for the vast majority of people that had it, they'll feel something later that day, um, and usually by the following day it's completely resolved, or it might be a little less, and then by day three, completely gone. And of course, because it's an injection in your arm, a lot of people get a sore arm afterwards. It's a two-dose vaccine series, so people do have to go back for the second shot three to four weeks later. Um, some people do experience the same or even some more intense side effects after the second dose. The reason for this is the side effects are a sign that your immune system is responding to the vaccine, so that's a good sign. And the second dose is a booster, so it really is going to have that immediate um, boosted response. So some people do feel even more tired and achy than they did after the first one. But it's impossible to predict. So some people have more intense side effects after the second dose. Some have no side effects after the second dose. So even if you felt bad after the first one, you should go back for the second one. Don't assume that you're going to have the same reaction. Um, and of course, these side effects can be managed with over-the-counter medications such as Tylenol or Motrin. Um, and most people just take some over-the-counter medications and sleep it off and then by you know, a day or two later feel just fine. So the most concerning side effects are the ones that are likely to happen within the first 15 minutes after getting the vaccine. So this is why all people who get the vaccine need to stay at the vaccination center for 15 minutes, some cases 30 minutes afterwards to be monitored closely. So the most worrisome side effects would be um, wheezing, having trouble breathing, swelling of the lips, the mouth, the face, uh, tightening of the throat. So these are the most serious allergic type reactions, some of which would require emergency medical care. So again, those occur within 15 minutes. Um, some of them we see that aren't quite that severe, but can develop within four hours of receiving the vaccine. And again, those people may have already left the vaccine center, um, but they would need to call their, their doctor or return uh, or go to the emergency room if they're having symptoms where they can't breathe or their lips, mouth, throat, or face is swollen.